Welcome to Master Math. Our lesson today is on exponents. Yep, my gift to you today will be that before the day's over, you'll understand how exponents work. Well, and, and I've got another gift for you too. Yeah, I didn't want to tell you. It's in the mail. It should arrive at any minute. I've bought you a brand new computer. And it's a big one too. The hard drive is one terabyte. That's a big hard drive. How big is a terabyte? Well, it's about a trillion bytes. A trillion bytes. I'm, I'm glad I don't have to use a number like that very often. That that would be hard to write. It would take a long time to write it. If you had to multiply it or add it or divide it, it would just take forever. I don't, I don't like that big number. Let's see if we can find an easier way to write it. How about 10 to the 12th power bytes? That would work, and that's an exponent. Well, let's review some of the basics of exponents. I think you know this stuff, but we'll review it anyway. Here's an exponent, and the 3 is called the base. And the 2 is called the exponent. And we could translate this, we could translate this mathematical expression into English and we'd say it reads 3 to the second power or 3 squared. So 3 to the second power or 3 squared is a power. And, if I, and I need to learn to go back and forth between numbers and their exponential equivalents. And how do we do that? Well, let's start with this. If I had 3 squared, what that squared sign is telling me is that I'm going to multiply my base times itself two times. 3 squared equals 3 times 3. And there's two of them because that's the exponent. And 3 times 3 equals 9. Well, how about 3 cubed or 3 to the third power? Well, that means I'm going to multiply 3 times itself 3 times. It's going to equal 3 times 3 times 3. And that equals 27. I bet you figured this one out. 3 to the 5th equals 5 3's multiplied times each other, or 243. How about if the base is a negative number, like negative 4? Well, it's not that tricky. Let's look at it. Negative 4, that would be negative 4 times negative 4. And hopefully you remember that if I multiply a negative number times a negative number, my answer is going to be a positive number. Negative 4 times negative 4 equals 16. Well, what if I had negative 4 to the third power? That would be negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. I've got three negatives. I've got an odd number of negatives. So my answer is going to be a negative. Negative 4 cubed is minus 64. If you've got a negative base and an even numbered exponent, you're going to get a positive result. If you've got a negative base and an odd-numbered exponent, you're going to get a negative answer. Well, you need to go back and forth between numbers and their exponential equivalents. So let's try this one. Let's see if we can convert 125 into its exponential equivalent, into a number to a power that equals 125. We do that by factoring 125. We find out what prime numbers multiplied by each other would equal 125. And I happen to remember that 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 times 5 is 125. So 5 times 5 times 5 equals 125. And I can write 5 times 5 times 5 as an exponent because it's a base of 5 multiplied by itself 3 times, so it equals 5 to the third. 
Well, what if I had a number 54, and I wanted to see if I could t- find the factors of that and maybe convert it into an exponent? What would I do? Well, you'd want to divide 54 by the prime numbers. The prime numbers are numbers that can only divide it, be divided by themselves and uh, 1 and come up with a whole number. And the primes are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and they keep going on forever, but the ones you got to worry about are probably just 2, 3, 5, and 7. And you're going to start with the smallest one and work your way up to find out if the number is divisible by a prime number. So, we'll start with 2. Is 54 divisible by 2? Yeah, 54 divided by 2 equals 27. I've got one prime number that's a factor of 54. So I'll circle it and I'll remember that. Now, is 27 a prime number or can it be broken down into factors? No, I can break that down. It's not divisible by 2 because it's an odd number. But how about 3? Is 27 divisible by 3? Yeah, 27 divided by 3 equals 9. Well, I've got a second prime number. Now I've got a 2 times 3, and it would be 2 times 3 times 9. But 9 is not a prime number. 9 can be broken down into factors. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. And those are my other two factors. I've got a prime number, and if my result is a prime number and can't be taken down to anything smaller, then that's one of my factors. So 54 equals 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. And I could rewrite that because I've got three threes there. It's 3 to the 1 to 3rd power. So 54 equals 2 times 3 to the 3rd power. Well, exponents work with uh, variables too, and you'll use the exponents with variables all the time in math. x squared equals x multiplied by itself two times. But how about this one? x to the minus 2 power. Well, you probably should just remember this rule because it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's just a way of explaining. When they put that negative sign in there, what they're telling you is they want you to rewrite that as x to the minus 2 equals 1 over x squared. That negative sign means we're going to put the x squared as the denominator with a fraction with a numerator of 1. Here's another tricky one. What about x to the 0 power? Well, you should probably just remember that any number to the 0 power equals 1. Now, if you want an explanation, I can give you one. Let's consider it this way. x to the 3rd equals 1 times x multiplied by itself three times because that third exponent says put three x's in there. x squared <coughs> means one multiplied by two x's. x to the first means one multiplied by only one x. So x to the zero power equals one multiplied by no x's or just one. Now you try this one, one-fourth to the third power. Now I know this may look a little bit confusing to some of you, but just remember what the exponent rules are. How do we deal with them? For instance, x to the third power would be x times x times x. So what would one-fourth to the third power be? Hit your pause button, try this problem, and then hit your forward key to move on to the answer. One-fourth cubed, what's that equal? Well, you remember if I had x cubed, it would be x times x times x. One-fourth cubed would be one-fourth times one-fourth times one-fourth. 
And hopefully you know how to do that. I just put all the ones on top and the three fours on the bottom, and I multiply them by each other. And one times one times one equals one, and four times four times four, or four cubed, equals 64. So one quarter to the third power equals one over 64. How about this one? Hit your pause button, give it a try, and then hit your forward key to move on to the answer. Well, in order to solve this problem correctly, I need to remember the order of operations rules. I need to remember PEMDAS. And PEMDAS says I do P. I do parentheses first. Well, there's no parentheses here. So now I go to the second letter in PEMDAS, the E. That's for exponents. And there is an exponent here. I've got 3 squared. So I've got to do that first. And I'm going to rewrite 5 plus 4 times 3 squared as 5 plus 4 times 9, because 3 squared equals 9. Now I've got two more operations. I've got an addition and I've got a multiplication. And PEMDAS tells me to do the multiplication first. So I'm going to rewrite it again and say 5 plus 36. Now there's just one operation. 5 plus 36 equals 41. Here's another one for you to try. 6 to the minus 2 power equals what? Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit your forward key to move on to the answer. How about 6 to the minus 2 power? Well, I remember that that minus sign means that I put 1 over the 6 squared. So it equals 1 over 6 squared. Now I need to square that 6. 6 times 6 equals 36. So 6 to the minus 2 power equals 1 over 36. Well, that's our lesson on exponents. Now let's test your skills. Go to www.mastermath.info and download the worksheet and the answer sheet for the worksheet on exponents. After you've done the worksheet, go back to Master Math and take the quiz on exponents. Well, I hope you learned a lot, and I hope we see you again real soon.